Hello and welcome to Palace Intrigue. I am your host, Mark Francis. The Mirror took another look at those rumours that Meghan Markle's ex-husband, Trevor Engelson, could write a memoir discussing their short-lived marriage. Royal commentator Neil Sean has suggested that agents have offered Trevor big deals and money. A source says Meghan was a completely different person when she moved to Toronto for suits. Per the Mirror's reporting, the source suggested that the split was sudden and so ruthlessly done, speculating that Trevor may have felt used by the former actor. One detail catching our eye is that it's been previously claimed that guests were given marijuana as a welcome gift of the wedding, which was held in Jamaica in 2011. Possession of the drug was reportedly illegal in the country at the time, though it's believed that possession of small amounts has since been reduced to a petty crime offence. A source said the last thing Began wants is to be associated with any kind of illegal substance. PR expert Andy Barr tells The Mirror that Harry and Meghan will be jealous of William and Kate's inroads in America. I love Brand, Meghan and Harry, but I do think were Kate and Will's wanting to crack America as rumoured, they would do so with far greater ease and speed than their power couple rivals. Whilst Harry and Meghan have a powerful and well-established network of celebrity friends and fixers, there is no substitute for being an actual fully paid-up member of the royal family. The global interest and intrigue in the British royal family means that they are guaranteed crowds wherever they go and whatever they do. Barra adds William and Kate would instantly be injected into the kinds of high society connections and opportunities that even top-level A-list celebrities like Meghan and Harry would be jealous of. You only have to watch their every interaction to see that Kate and William are clearly super competitive. And if you combine that and the royal publicity machine in full swing, you can't see much getting in there. The rumours of Harry house hunting in the UK are back. A source tells OK, there is a divide between the couple on this issue, but they will soon start looking for a property of their own near London. And Harry is very much leading this. They won't be asking the king for a property on the royal estate due to the issue that arose with Frogmore Cottage. Making use of a small apartment in Kensington Palace from time to time isn't out of the question, but when it comes to a home in the UK, they will purchase that themselves. Royal expert Duncan Larcombe added, We've seen Harry come back on his own to the UK before, most recently for the anniversary of the Queen's death. Harry's got more reason to come back to the UK than Meghan, so I think we would see these trips, especially if he's involved with things like the Invictus Games, where most of the people who work for that are in London. It's unlikely that Meghan will want to spend much time in the UK. She has shown no signs that she holds any kind of love for England. She's not given any hints that she would want to move back, even temporarily, to the UK. But I think it does make sense for Harry to have a UK base and for the couple to therefore have somewhere. If they don't have a base there, Harry's children are going to grow up not knowing their cousins, uncles or aunts or any of their family. They're growing up fast and his father isn't getting any younger. I think he would want to do this before it's too late. I think the idea that would be pretty tough on Harry, I think he'd want his children to have a relationship with their cousins and in time, his father and William. Harry must feel very isolated from the people he had great friendships with growing up. He had a small, tight-knit circle of friends he could trust and in California, he's thousands of miles away from them. Also of issue is where the children will go to school. OK's source says, Harry is swinging more towards England, while Meghan is happy for them to be educated stateside. Palace Intrigue will be right back. Rough times for Kate Middleton's parents. Posters which reference unpaid cash to suppliers for Carol Middleton's former business party pieces have been seen around Buckleberry, Berkshire. A local told The Sun, Carol and Michael are incredibly popular. Everyone is horrified by these posters. It's unfair to do this in their home village just yards from where they live. Their son James lives nearby and so does Pippa, who has moved around there recently with her family, so they all have to be confronted by this. They are doing their best to make things right and don't deserve this kind of abuse. Even the Kate is Wonderful narrative is having a bad week. Hello Magazine writes, Despite her impeccable fashion sense, the mother of three wasn't immune to a fashion faux pas as she stepped out at the Stade de Marseille. Royal fans were quick to pick up on the live footage of the princess from the event, which was aired on live TV. The royal was seated next to rugby legend Sir Bill Beaumont, CBE, and his wife, Lady Hilary Beaumont, who appeared to be wearing the exact same blazer as the Princess of Wales. Life can be brutal, the royal family. The king has entered the pizza business. The Scottish Sun reports royal fans visiting Balmoral can now avail themselves of the tasty snack. Flavours on offer include the 14-pound King's Garden vegetable, which is made with ingredients grown on the grounds of the huge estate. Other offerings are the 13-pound nice and cheesy margarita, 
£14.50 pepperoni and the £15 bound moral, topped with chicken, bacon and haggis. And there you have it. If you'd like to email us, our address is thepalaceintrigue at gmail.com. Please head on over to YouTube or youtube.com and hit that subscribe button for us. If you search for Palace Intrigue, you don't have to listen to the show again, but it will really help us out. I'm Mark Francis. My thanks to John McDermott. This is Palace Intrigue and good times. <laughs>